But let me get this straight. So many modern day women think that they're the prize because basically they're a functioning adult and they pay their bills. Like, congratulations for paying your electric bill. I guess that means you deserve princess treatment. Meanwhile, these women are ill-mannered, don't know how to communicate. They don't know how to take constructive criticism. They only know how to focus on negative behaviors instead of positive behaviors. They have unhealed trauma that they constantly project onto other people. They're selfish and entitled and expect everyone to cater to them while they give nothing in return. They have poor time management. They don't have any priorities in place. They don't know how to focus. They don't know what they really want in life, which is why they dabble in everything and sleep around. They prefer negative attention rather than no attention attention at all. Her idea of positive friendships is how many followers they have and their reputation online is more important than who they are in real life. Dismissive to anybody's feelings or opinions if it doesn't validate them. They bully people while simultaneously preaching women empowerment, but yet they have so much to bring to the table because they're a functioning adult and they pay their bills. Make that make sense. What's up my guys? We need to have a little chat. You're all just so toxic. I can't even deal. Ugh. But wait, is there a chance that it could actually be us? Toxic relationships can go both ways. If she does these things, she's toxic. Number one, she breathes. Okay, jokes aside. Number two, she has a list of standards that she sets for you that she doesn't even follow. You constantly avoid conversations with her because you already know how she's gonna react. She's constantly the victim. She uses threats to get her way. She doesn't believe in privacy. You two have to exchange passwords to build trust. You're her only source of happiness. She blames you for everything. She constantly reminds you how she can do better or deserves better. But if she really thinks she deserves better, why isn't she out there finding it? She knows nothing about what's going on in your life because she never stops talking about hers. She compares you to her exes. She withholds intimacy as a form of punishment. You're better off being single. According to this person, men love toxic women. That is false. At this point, I'm convinced that people will say anything in order to justify their argument or lack of argument in this case. I encourage healthy, non-transactional relationships, and I make it clear it does take work. Instead of taking accountability for your actions, you would rather say that men want toxic women, and that's why you're not going to change. I'm going to tell you straight up, the type of man that would want a toxic woman is a man that you want to stay away from. And I hesitate to use the word man because I don't think a real man is going to want a woman that's going to be nothing but a headache for him, is going to trigger all of his insecurities, and, and he can't even trust her. No, no, you know what a real man wants? Companionship. Somebody that he can trust and rely on. A woman who goes out of her way to make her man's life easy. That's what we want. And I am telling you that when a real man finds that, he will go to the end of the world to protect that. So please stop saying that men love toxic women because if I said that women love men who cheat on them, you and the Sprinkle Sprinkle Mafia would probably have something to say about it. Have a Here are five things to know about women, but not just any type of woman. This is toxic woman you need to know about. So if you're dating someone and they have toxic traits, just add whatever I'm going to say to your knowledge. Number one, a woman's loyalty lasts as long as you're the best choice for her. So toxic women are shopping, okay? If the minute she finds something better, she will leave. And when I say shopping, I mean shopping for other men, you know, still looking out. The type where I'm like, never let my boyfriend stop me from finding my husband. And that's true. If you have a bad boyfriend, even if you are really good to her, toxic women will do this. So Second thing with toxic women, they never really care about you, they care about themselves. Even if you think they care about you, it's the status, the emotional support, the things that you give them is what makes them care about you only because it's benefiting themselves. Number three, with all this being said, if she doesn't respect you, respect yourself and walk away because there are women out there who will respect you. And a lot of modern day women, they believe like, oh, I'm a boss bitch and if he ain't gonna do what I say, then fuck him and a lot of women think this but no it's a two-way street that's how relationships are so find a woman that does respect you and last but not least remember this if it goes south her revenge of making you jealous is going with other guys your revenge should be making yourself so much better that she's like fuck i lost a good one that is the best type of revenge for a woman and for men Anyways, let me know if these are valid and what else I should make. So this is one of the most common traps that I see guys fall into, and it's dating a girl who is in her toxic feminine. And by the way, a lot of guys don't even know what a woman looks like in her toxic feminine. So this is an example of what that looks like. All right, so a woman in her toxic feminine is going to have this energy where in the beginning, she is super attractive, funny, 
fun, engaging. There's just something about her that really pulls you in. But there is a point at which things will start to shift and she's going to take her energy and almost hold it over top of you and start making everything about her and start pushing you to kind of in a way like suck up to her and make her the most important thing and you are in a way beneath her. So obviously this is not a equitable, fair, loving, caring, equal relationship. This is a relationship where she is up here and she is down here and she keeps you there out of a mode of control. So the trap that I see guys fall into is they date this type of girl and they get really hooked on her because of how awesome she may seem in the beginning, but then she pulls that, she flicks that switch and immediately it becomes not so fun, but they're in it so deep. Like they are invested in this thing. They are hooked. They want more. It's almost like an addiction. And that's when she knows she's got you. So then she's able to basically do whatever she wants. And this forces a lot of guys to just fall into their feminine energy where they're basically sucking up to her and trying to make everything okay with her. All the focus is put on her. You actually end up letting yourself down because you do not put your own needs before hers. So because of this, it's really important to know is the girl I'm dating in her healthy feminine or is it toxic? And if it's toxic, there is some work that needs to be done. Here are some signs that show you that she may be toxic. Firstly, guys, I want to remind you a healthy male will never accept dating a toxic, unhealthy woman. With that said, here are some signs you should look for to see if she's toxic or not. And if you say yes to any of these, please run away. Number one, is she withholding sex from you because of something you did? Number two, is she holding grudges and holding it over your head as if everything is your fault? Number three, you've told her what you want and you've told her what you need to be happy and it seems like she's just not willing to give it to you. Five signs, she's toxic. Number one, she wants you to chase her as if she's the prize, but it should be mutual. Number two, drama five. All she do is gossip, talk negative, and in everybody's business all day. Number three, love to talk, but don't listen. You can't have communication without comprehension. Number four, she don't see no wrong in whatever she does. Everything is your fault. And number five, she complains about the things that you don't do, but never praises the good things you have done. Keep a rich mentality. Here are signs the girl you're talking to is toxic. If you relate to these, let her go. Number one, she does not care about your problems. She's always talking about her issues, and then when it comes to yours and she doesn't listen, then she doesn't care about you. Because a true woman who likes you will sit there, listen, and try to comfort you. Second sign she's toxic is she is shopping. Now, let me explain. What I mean by this is if she finds a man better than you, she will take her chances and go for it. You'll know this if she's not a ride or die. She's basically shopping for a better deal and you're just a placeholder. One way to know this is her eyes wander when you're out with her. Number three is she will lie and cry to get her way. If you get mad or you don't give her something that she wants and she cries or complains about it, she's doing this just to get your attention and a true lady who actually likes you will be understanding of these types of things. On top of this, if she lies to you and it's one lie after the other, she is not bound to change, so just let it go. Anyways, let me know if these are valid and what else I should make. Some of girls' biggest toxic traits, they will cut guys off if they feel like they're not loved, they're not wanted. They need a guy to be obsessed with them. If that man is not obsessed with her, she's going to cut his ass off. <laughs> Six signs you have a toxic girlfriend. She sees every woman as a threat. She constantly breaks her promises. She's suspicious of everything. She makes you feel like you're never good enough no matter what you do. She constantly tries to make you jealous by flirting with other guys. Her constant negativity and drama sucks the life and energy right out of you. What's up, my guys? Here are six signs she doesn't respect you. She talks about her experience constantly as if you care to be reminded of who came before you unwilling to connect aka she only talks about herself oh you want to tell her what's going on in your life she doesn't care she gives sexual attention to others just leave 
now. Disregard for boundaries, aka she won't stop talking to that ex that you've repeatedly voiced concerns about, criticizing you in public, downright embarrassing. She consistently undermines your authority and decision-making ability. Good luck being the man of the house. Come on guys, do better. Three signs your girl is toxic. Number one, she threatens to leave 24-7. And I mean like every time you guys have an argument or a little fight, she's more than ready. More than ready to say, you know what, I think I deserve better. Maybe I should be with somebody else. And if you're stupid, you're stupid as a guy, you'll be there like, no, don't go anywhere. No, I'll try and fix this. But never forget, there's four billion, four billion of these people on earth. <laughs> Number two, she posts IG quotes and whatnot on her statuses, on her story every time you guys have a falling out. Stuff like, all men are the same, men are trash, this, this, that. I'm sure you know a girl like that or a couple on your contacts, yeah? Number three, she doesn't care about other girls in your life. She doesn't care if you talk to other girls or if there are other girls close to you. And what does that tell you? It means there's probably somebody else that she's talking to, too, as well. So, do yourself a favor. Walk away. All right, guys. How to spot a female narcissist sooner. Y'all take notes now. Needs constant attention. Attention seeker. Loves the gossip. Loves the drama. Obsessed with her looks. Uses looks to be the center of attention. Extremely jealous of other beautiful women. They gonna find something wrong with that woman. To put them down, make them look bad, so they look better. Hypersexual, knows how to exploit men using their sexuality. She's always the victim. She's entitled, shames you. She finds out your vulnerabilities and later uses them to lower your self-esteem, to manipulate, to get you to do what she wants you to do. Y'all, in the very beginning, super nice, super understanding, very accommodating until the switch up happens. Great at putting on a show and making you look like the bad guy. Mm -mm -mm. Here are five things to know about women, but not just any type of woman. This is toxic woman you need to know about. So if you're dating someone and they have toxic traits, just add whatever I'm going to say to your knowledge. Number one, a woman's loyalty lasts as long as you're the best choice for her. So toxic women are shopping, okay? If the minute she finds something better, she will leave. And when I say shopping, I mean shopping for other men, you know, still looking out. The type where I'm like... Never let my boyfriend stop me from finding my husband. And that's true. If you have a bad boyfriend, even if you are really good to her, toxic women will do this. So second thing with toxic women, they never really care about you. They care about themselves. Even if you think they care about you, it's the status, the emotional support, the things that you give them is what makes them care about you only because it's benefiting themselves. Number three, with all this being said, if she doesn't respect you, respect yourself and walk away because there are women out there who will respect you. And a lot of modern day women, they believe like, oh, I'm a boss bitch. And if he ain't gonna do what I say, then fuck him. And a lot of women think this, but no, it's a two way street. That's how relationships are. So find a woman that does respect you. And last but not least, remember this, if it goes south, her revenge of making you jealous is going with other guys. Your revenge should be making yourself so much better that she's like, fuck, I lost a good one. That is the best type of revenge for a woman and for men. Anyways, let me know if these are valid and what else I should make.